um, in, in Florida at, in that time frame? In the same time frame? Yes. No. Okay. Do you remember when it was when you saw him next? Uh, April. All right. And when you saw Mr. Hernandez next in April of 2013, do you remember where that was? Um, at, uh, at the spring game, Florida, Orange the Blue okay. game. And, and for those who don't know, the spring, spring game is an intra-squad scrimmage, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, and uh, you saw him at the spring game uh, yes. up in Gainesville? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, yes. Now, at some point did you come to learn of an incident uh, that took place um, on the early morning of February 13th involving a, an individual that was shot in the West Palm Beach area? Yeah, I found out uh, months later okay. when it came up. Uh, and th how did you find out about that incident? Um, I think my brother called and told me. Well, uh, as to the source of yes. the information, was your brother? Yeah, he seen it on the TV, on the news. All right, so he your told brother me. told you something? Yeah, he just told me what he seen on TV. Next question. Uh, did you ever have a discussion uh, with Mr. Crawford or Mr. Pierre or Mr. Brown about the specifics of that incident? No, I never even spoke to them about it. I, I don't even know that they even know anything about it. I don't even know if they know anything about it. They haven't said anything to me about it. Okay. Did you ever have a conversation with Mr. Hernandez um, about that incident? Mm, no. Nah. Never seen him. When I found out, everything else broke out too at the same time, so I never... <laughs> Seen him again. You want to be solid? No, I'll just look at No, they're doing wrong. Approach, Your Honor. You may. Uh, Mr. Uh, Thompson, do you recognize the picture that I've just shown you? Yes. Okay. And uh, who do you recognize that individual to be? Uh, I don't know his name. Okay. Uh, how do you recognize him? Uh, he's the guy I met with Aaron one time. I'm sorry? I met him with Aaron one time. Uh, is he somebody that you saw with Mr. Hernandez during that February 8th to February 14th time frame? Uh, yeah, he was... Uh, maybe once or twice I see them all around. Not okay. a lot, though. Dur dur during that time that period? period? Yeah. Do you remember whether you saw um, him at the uh, Super Bowl party? You know, talking about the picture, person that's shown in that picture? Uh, I mean, uh, I can't recall. I don't recall if he was there or not. Okay. W what, about, um, what about when you w were in the <coughs> Miami area in the Tootsie's Cabaret? I think he did go to Tootsie's with us once when I went, but... I, so I told you it was a lot of guys, but he could be he could be one of the guys that was there. Okay. Uh, did you have a chance, just yes or no, to to watch that person interact with uh, Mr. Hernandez, the defendant? Um. In other words, did you see them hanging out together? Yeah. Uh, one time it was in not Tussies though. Some other this is the night we went to Tussies, but it was cool. He just like this, my homie. He was introduced and said this homie and. Well, not, and I just, you know. And based up, based upon what you saw, did you, uh, what sense did you get about how close they were? Uh, I thought it was pretty close. All right. Yeah. Based on based on the way they were interacting with one another. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and the picture that you have. Uh, in front of you, is that generally speaking what the person looked like to your best memory, the guy that uh, was hanging out with Mr. Hernandez? I mean, yeah, he favored the guy. I'm sorry? He favors the guy. I'm not sure he what you mean by that. He, I mean, he looked like a, the guy who you saying. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's the guy, you don't know his name, but that's the person that you, you've been describing now for the past couple of minutes. Yeah. Uh, Your Honor, at this time I'd offer that as the next exhibit. Without objection. <coughs> a 
showing you what's been admitted as exhibit number 319. Uh, did you have much interaction with this person uh, during the February 8th uh, to February 14th time frame? No, not that I can recall. Did uh, this person, um, uh, during the time that you saw him or on the occasions that you saw him during that time frame, that is February 8th to February 14th, uh, did you see him uh, involved in any fights or arguments uh, uh, that you can remember? No. Mr. Thompson, um, back in February of 2013, uh, did you have a cell phone? Yes. All right. And um, does the, do you remember what the number was to that cell phone? Um, no, you say it, I may remember. Okay, so something I could show you that might help you remember the number? Yes. Mr. Thompson, I'm just going to ask you to read to yourself line 24, um, and after having read that line, just uh, let me know whether that refreshes your memory as to the number of the cell phone uh, that you were carrying back in February 2013. Yes. And what was the number? 561-257-9308. Back in uh, 2013, uh, did you know a person um, by the name of Oscar Hernandez? Mm -hmm. All right. And did you know Mr. Hernandez? Yes, yes, yes. Sorry. Yes. Did you know Mr. Hernandez by uh, any other name? That is a nickname. Uh, we call him, uh, he got a lot of nicknames. We call him Pap, Papu, all type of stuff. Papu was one of the nicknames that yeah. you knew him by? And uh, how did you know Mr. Hernandez or Mr. Oscar Hernandez? He's from Belgrade also. All right. And uh, did you know him as long as you knew the other people that we were t talking about earlier, Mr. Crawford, Mr. Pierre? Uh, yeah, pretty much. I mean, okay. we were all in the school around the same time, so. Showing you what's been previously admitted as exhibit number 285, is that the person that you no, is uh, Papu or Oscar Hernandez? Yes. You also mentioned uh, uh, that Mr. Pierre was somebody that you knew from Bell Glade for, for quite some time, showing you what's been admitted as exhibit number 292. Can you see that from where you're sitting? Yes. You recognize the person that's on the far left? Yeah, that's me. That's you. Okay, and who's the person immediately next to you? This is a uh, Jarrell. Okay, is that Mr. Pierre? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you recognize the other two individuals in, the, in, that, in that picture? Yes. And uh, who's the person immediately to the left of Mr. Pierre? Uh, it's a guy go by the name of Kay. Kay? Yeah. Uh, do you know his government name? No. Nah. All right. And what about the person to Kay's left? That's Kay Cuzzo. We call him Cuzzo. Cuzzo? Yeah. Okay. That's his name. <laughs>
approach witness again, Your Honor? You may. Uh, showing you uh, that picture, do you recognize that, Mr. Thompson? Yes. Okay. Yes. And what's that? Uh, same flight, just the back of it. Okay. The back of the. Um, That's the front, just the back. <clears throat> the back of this flyer? Yeah. Okay. And um, uh, there's some pictures of individuals as well as uh, uh, professional football players. Is that fair to say? Yes. Okay. And that was part of that. That was just the back page of this first flyer that we admitted as exhibit, uh, exhibit number 318. Yes. Okay. Your Honor, at this time, I'd offer that as the next exhibit number. Objection. Showing you what's been received as exhibit number 320 and specifically referring you to the pictures of the individuals uh, that are not the football players or at least not in uniform. Uh, do you recognize any of the people in those pictures? Yeah, I know everybody. You know everybody? Okay. Yes. And uh, just if you wouldn't <coughs> mind going from left to right, uh, do you know who that is? That's Max. Is that the person that you described earlier as, as Max Brown? Yeah. Okay. And what about the second person? I can't really see who it is, but it looks like Oscar. Okay. And what about the third person? That's me. Okay. And the fourth? Travis. And do you know Travis's last name? Benjamin. I'm sorry? Benjamin. Be Benjamin. Yeah. Okay. And Mr. Benjamin also played or plays professional football, is that correct? Yeah, he plays, plays. And the person next to Mr. Benjamin? I can't really see his face. Okay, and what about that last person? <laughs> that look like my, uh, Mick. Mick? Yeah. And do you know him by any other name than Mick? Uh, Maurice. Maurice. Do you know Maurice's last name? Bynes. Bynes, okay. Uh, Mr. Pierre, did you know him to go by any other nick any nickname? Did you call him by anything other than either Jarrell or his first name? Yeah, we call him Jarrell or Jay. Jape? Jay. <coughs> Jay. Okay. Uh, and uh, if you saw Mr. Pierre's uh, cell phone number, would you recognize it? Would I recognize it? If you saw the number. No. Nah. Okay. Right. Um, what about uh, Mr. Oscar Hernandez's cell phone number? Would you recognize Papu's cell phone number if you saw it? Uh, I don't know his number by heart. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> Thank you, uh, Mr. Thompson. All right. I'm done. Oh. <laughs> You're in the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter. <laughs> More like no overtime, game. right? <laughs> More like a two minute warning. All right. All right. Uh, Mr. Thompson, uh, my name is Jose Baez. I represent Aaron. Nice uh, I just have a couple questions for you. You mentioned that there was a lot of guys around at all times, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, and in fact, you said there were four or five cars that you guys were driving in? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. And you also said that um, Alexander Bradley, or the gentleman in the, the black and white photo that you <coughs> identified, is here. <coughs> this photo here. You didn't see him around that much, right? Not really. I mean, if he was around a lot, I'd know more about him. I really don't. Yeah. I just know his right. face. Uh, fair to say, there were times where Aaron was hanging out with you guys, and this guy wasn't even around, right? Yeah. Okay. So, um, and 
a lot of people are meeting different people at this time at this big party, right? Oh yeah, the party, yes. Yep. Okay. And um, when you go back home as being a professional athlete, you never forget where you come from, right? At all. Okay. And some of your friends sometimes get into trouble. Yeah. And that doesn't have anything to do with you, right? At all. Nothing to do with me. But you don't judge them and you stay friends with them? Yeah. Okay. And uh, that's actually fairly common uh, for athletes who come out of uh, Bell Blades, right? Yep. Sustained. Okay. Um, Bell Blades also known as the Muck, right? Yeah. Muck City. Muck City. Yeah. Um, and um, in fact, a lot of football players come from the Muck, right? A lot. Okay. <laughs> in fact, it's one of the small areas in this country that have the largest number of players that come from this small town, right? Yeah. I think we like got the most, I think. It's something, uh, I guess it's called the Muck because of the. The, the mud hole and the, the, the dirt, the, the soil. Dirt, the the soil, soil is black. It's dark, okay. black soil. So um, you don't judge these. You don't judge the guys you grew up with, right? Not at all. An what a question. <laughs> and um, when you guys were out, I mean, you 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 mentioned that you were. Uh, uh, like fraternity brothers were there, right? Yeah. And you guys have not caught up in a while. Yeah. In fact, after he went off for his professional career and you went off with yours, the the, la the first time you guys saw each other since college was at the Super Bowl, right? Yes. <laughs> Ran into each other on Bourbon Street. Yes. It was unexpected. Yes. Okay. And uh, you invited him down to this party. Yes. Okay. And. All you can, all you remember is at one point or another that he introduced you to the the guy in the black and white uh, picture, right? Yeah. I mean, that's what I recall. I mean, yeah. And you didn't even see him around that often in all the activities that you guys were doing that week. Not that I can recall. And in fact, you guys, you had rented a suite at the Spring Hill Suites, right? That's, I don't and know the name. Hotel room. The hotel, yeah, I don't know. The, yeah, we had a suite. And a lot of guys were staying there, right? Yes. Okay. Um, and even the, including Eric. <laughs> did he? Uh, he probably did. I, I left that night of the port. I didn't stay there, so he probably stayed in there too. You don't want to stay in a, a hotel room with a bunch of guys? <laughs> nah. I mean. Okay. Um, so, having having said that, um, you still didn't see Alexander Bradley that often. Yeah, not that I can recall. I don't remember, I don't remember seeing the guy that much that weekend. That and there week. were numerous functions that whole week, right? Like yeah, we went out a couple of times. Yeah, we did a lot of partying. Okay. A lot of clubs. A lot of clubs. Trips to Miami. Every day. Okay. And despite all of that, the best you can recall seeing Alexander <clears throat> Bradley was once, maybe twice. If I'm my better judgment, I mean. I don't remember seeing the guy a lot. I mean, I was intoxicated too, so my judgment may not be the best, but from what I can recall, I don't remember being around like that. Uh, just, just one moment, I'll see if I have a thing. But you do remember seeing Aaron a lot, right? Yeah, I mean, that's how I have a relationship with Aaron, so, you know, it's, he'll text me, hey, I'm over here. You know, I popped in however it was in Miami, I mean, but that's how that was, so. Okay, I have no further questions, thank you. Anything further? Just briefly. Uh, Mr. Thompson, uh, regardless of the number of times that you saw Mr. Bradley or the gentleman in that black and white photograph in the February 8th to February 14th time frame. You do recall seeing him at Tootsie's the night that you all went to Tootsie's, is that correct? Yeah, I think he was in there, yeah. I think I, I recall seeing him over there. And, and, and he made the trip to South Beach with you, Mr. Hernandez, 
And yeah, we was down there the whole. We was down there the whole night. We tussies. We went to tussies as an after hour spot. That was like four, five in the morning. We went to tussies. Right, but the the party, party the party was, was up in was yeah. up in Bell Glade, and no, then. No, no, no. The, the night you talking about we went to Tussies, right? Right, but I'm just backing up. The Super Bowl party was in oh, Bell Glade. Yes, And yes. then you guys ended up down after, in the day or so after, in, in South Beach, in the South Beach area. Yes. Right. And this person that whose name you didn't know, but the person that we're all talking about in the black and white photograph, he took that trip with you guys to South Beach. He was at the, uh, the first club we went to. That's why I okay. sent him out. The, the the night you went to eventually ended up at Tootsie's. Ended up at Tootsie's after that. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. And those are the only two times you saw him? I don't want to say yeah, and I seen him before then, but for the best of my knowledge that I can recall at this moment, yeah. Thank you, sir. You may sit down. Watch your sit. Thank you very much. I'm <laughs> calls Oscar Hernandez. Let me see you at sidebar. <laughs> <laughs> 